All right, guys, here uh, back again. Um, today we're going to be testing the headlight and brake circuit on this 2004 Honda Accord LX. Uh, first things first, you want to make sure your battery has plenty of juice in it, just so your uh, all future tests from here, you can go ahead and mark this out. So we got our negative and positive. We got 12.16 volts in the battery right now. And just to uh, verify all the lights on the car are working, go ahead and uh, step on the brakes for me, Bob. All right, cool. Now on the um, headlight circuit, uh, what we're gonna be testing on the uh, low high beam, this would be driver side and this would be passenger side, and uh, these are all driven up to you know fuse boxes and or fuse uh, panels. Um, see here, uh, low beam and high beam come up to fuse 30 on driver side, and then fuse 28 on driver side. Uh, passenger side will be same same concept, uh, comes up to fuse one and fuse four, and they all uh, take 10 amp fuses. All right, as you can see, we got our test light out, and first what we're going to be doing is checking the fuse. Um, it's going to be 30A on the low beam side, and then it's going to be this guy right here, and boop, and that is good, a good, a go. All right, so now we're going to be testing the high side, uh, or the high beam on the driver side, on fuse 28A, and it is also a 10 amp fuse. And you can see I already have my uh, ground here with my test light. Go ahead and just give it a little poke, see if we have any continuity. And there she goes, and we got the light. That's a good indication so far. With our test light already set up right here, take it to ground. Go ahead and poke number four. Move your head. We have good continuity, as you can tell. And then these number four, or yeah, four. And these are all as well as uh, the first one's 10 amp fuses. Tell, um, I went ahead and removed the uh, light bulbs from the headlight. And the, this um, bulb is the low beam side on the headlight. And we're gonna go uh, ahead and test for resistance. So you can see I got my uh, multimeter here. About 0 0.8, 0 0.9 resistance. Uh, as you can see, I have now removed the tail light uh, light bulb, and I'm going ahead and connect it to my voltmeter here, and we're going to be checking uh, resistance. We got. 1.1 so only one resistance now on the brake lamp uh, circuit uh, connects to the brake uh, switch as you can see right here and the actual um, ECM actually powers the uh, brake switch and there's actually no possible way um, that we could test it un unless we're using a scan tool uh, but as you can see here uh, the fuse comes up all the way to the horn relay and then we have a, a, a small fuse right here 10 amp uh, F20 and it appears to be missing on the car and uh, I went ahead and pulled out the horn relay just to double check uh, you know if there's any uh, power not supposed to be in there and uh, we're getting power uh, being powered by the ECM so now we're just going to be checking the continuity on the actual switch which I'll show you here next and uh, that's about it so now I'm going to be going ahead and testing one of the uh, brake uh, lamp plugs 
just to uh, make sure that the system is actually getting volts and everything is working properly. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and have my assistant turn on the lights after I go ahead and get pronged up. And we're gonna see if we get any different readings. Oh, off the. All right, go ahead and turn on just the lights. See, we're getting 11.37. All right, now go ahead and step on the brakes from you. And all right, now we're in millivolts, and that is 